Madison took quite a while to set up her Domino's ride. And by the looks of it, she's about to break a wall. <laughs> it's funny how a small piece like that can damage something so much bigger, like a clock on a wall. Although we can't reverse time, I think we might not even need it in this case. Firstly, let's remove the actual mechanisms out of the broken clock. Search the house for an old, unused vinyl. You'll want to stick 12 domino pieces according to the number of dots. Insert the mechanisms through the back of the vinyl and connect the dedicated arrows. Now just set up the clock and hang it on the wall. Perfect, Madison! You managed to create a truly vintage clock. <laughs> Let's keep those dominoes moving, shall we? Jacob and Emily just found out their front yard was messed up, which is a shame because it took Emily quite a few days to set it up. Such a bummer. Hey kids, watch where you're kicking that ball next time. Any chance you can salvage these wood pieces? I'm sure they can be used for something. There it is, Jacob. Once you've collected the sticks, set them aside for a second and grab yourself an A3 size sheet of paper. Bend it in half and use scissors to cut out a heart symbol. Cut out the wood pieces and lay them down within the outline. Use hot glue to connect all the sticks together. Three wooden pieces should be strong enough to keep it intact. Add a short rope and glue the sides. Now flip it over. We won't need the paper anymore. Lastly, use acrylic paint with a sponge and layer it on. Acrylic paint works best to color the wood and give it some personality. Good job, Jacob. You've saved the day and really crafted your way into Emily's heart. Jess is going through some clothing ideas she found in various fashion magazines. Oops, so much for the newly set up cork board. It literally got shattered to pieces. Is all of it going into the trash? I think you just came up with a genius idea there, Jess. Lay down the cork board and use a utility knife to cut out a hexagon shape. Paint it, but make sure to use sticky tape for some cool outlines. The best part about hexagons is that they fit together perfectly, giving you a neat visual on the table while having your friends over for some tea. Sarah just finished hosting a great party. Her last two friends are just about to leave her all by herself. Unfortunately, every celebration comes with a great responsibility. The lonely after-party cleaning routine can get you down. It's a shame we need to throw all this junk out. Maybe. Sarah can salvage some of these paper cups and reuse them instead. Take a pencil and outline your desired shape on the cup. We are going to make a heart. Next, poke a bunch of holes around the outside using a needle. Focus on the shape and add additional lines or waves around it. With a razor blade, cut out a small plus sign on the bottom of the cup. And lastly, insert string lights through the holes. Do the same with the rest of the cups. This little project will only take half an hour at most. Sarah managed to reuse her party cups and cozy up her bedroom with this warm light decor. Every single cup has been customized with a different pattern, giving it a unique feel. It's quite cool, isn't it? Emily is fed up with Jacob's messy lifestyle. She has decided to take a stand and is about to confront him over the phone. Meanwhile, Jacob is on the way back from work and has no idea what is about to happen. Well, hello, darling. Don't darling me. Look at this mess. Yeah, Jacob, not the call you were expecting, right? Hopefully, all of this is going to be cleaned up by the end of the day. Jacob is in a dilemma. How is he going to organize all that clutter? Well, as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Let's paint the old wooden ladder. Paint the entire ladder in white. Don't forget the other side. Next, we are going to attach self brackets to the top and bottom ladder rungs. Make sure it's secure by screwing them in far enough. 
Depending on the ladder, this might be a tricky part. Awesome! That's it! Jacob, you need to tidy this area up first. Okay, don't mind me. Mark the right height for the shelf on the wall. Safety first. Screw the shelf in. A level will probably help give better results. Good job, Jacob. You're the man of the house. The high shelf can be used as the box storage or a hanger. After a well-deserved rest, Emily has returned home to a delightful and useful decor surprise. Guys sometimes do get it right. Mwah. Sleep well! Emily starts her day with her favorite comic and a bowl of cereal. Too bad she just ran out of milk. You forgot to buy more, didn't you? Hmm, have you noticed it has a lovely bottle shape though? Any chance that we could make a whimsical creation of our own out of it? <laughs> First, remove the label. Cut out a heart-shaped window and tiny door. You'll want to use PVA glue and paint it all over the bottle. It will help us to cover the bottle in sand. Take out your hot glue gun and use it to cover the doors with tiny pebble stones. Do the same with the window and the rest of the bottle. Continue using hot glue to stick various other sizes of pebbles. In addition, you want some lechen to fill the gaps and add some greenery to the piece. Or even go an extra mile with a bird nest and a small figurine. Lastly, lay down a bit of moss inside and add a battery-based candle. Our birdhouse can be quite flammable, and this way will prevent any fire hazards. Perfect, Emily! You nailed it! That's a really cozy-looking nightlight. Alright, it's time to go to sleep. Wow, that looks magical! Hey, Crafty Pandas! I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. It looks like Emily got surprised by some heavy rain. Well, as long as there's no wind, she should be fine. Oops, I spoke too soon. And it's pretty strong too. Her umbrella is completely destroyed and neither it or the newspaper is going to keep her dry. Oh wow, I don't think you can get any wetter after this one. Finally, you're back. I guess there's no use for that umbrella anymore. Darn it, even the keys are giving you a hard time. This can't get any worse, can it? This is definitely not your day, sister. Poor flowers. Once the rain cleared out, Jacob comes back home to find the damaged umbrella and the still okay looking flowers. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what happened here. Poor Emily. She got overwhelmed by the dark cloud that just passed by. It would be a shame to throw all of this away. Lucky for us, Jacob is crafty enough to combine all these rundown items. Let's start with the umbrella. Sometimes all that's needed are some minor fixes, like putting the hooks back into place. Set it aside for now. Meanwhile, we'll need to empty out a sturdy plastic bag. We're going to use it as a container for our flowers. Let's pour some water inside and tie a thread around it in order to keep those flowers fresh. Go ahead and stuff it inside with some additional packs of flowers to fill the rest of the umbrella. And for the finishing touch, tie it all up with a ribbon. Make sure it's long enough. That's it. Use the handle of the umbrella to hang the bouquet back on the front door. Once the weather clears up, Jacob surprises Emily with a delightful door decoration. Nicely done, Jacob. Emily has had enough of Jacob's late nights ending up with him oversleeping. Oops, you went a bit overboard with that pillow, Jacob. And now the picture frame is in pieces. 
On the bright side, you just won an extra 20 minutes of sleep due to Emily's enthusiasm for crafts. Good boy, Jacob. Lay down a bowl upside down and get yourself a plastic glass. You'll need a thermal heater for this next step. Slowly start melting the edges of the plastic. The more wrinkles, the better. Once you've finished, lift up the plastic and flip it over. Give it a good wash and you'll be set with a fabulous glassy looking fruit bowl. Best part is it's light and fall friendly. Time to enjoy that breakfast, Jacob. Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoy these recycling hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.